Hello again. If you're at this step, it means that you successfully installed the desktop app for the McFarland Toys Digital Showroom, or you went and redeemed a code and you were instructed to download this application. And here we are. So at this step, you need to make sure that you have an account created already. If you don't, please make sure to head on over to this little button at the bottom here called Create One. It will guide you through the same steps we just went through on the website to create an account. Creating an account on the viewer app is not a part of this video. Please refer back to the video that goes over that in detail. Now, assuming we have a viewer app account all created and set up, we're gonna log in. These are the same credentials I used on the website, by the way. And here we are. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to navigate over to my collectibles here. As you can see, the landing page of the viewer app shows you all the nice rooms that you can use. It'll even show you other stuff from other users over here. But again, we'll go into that stuff in, an, in another video. If you head on over to the top at your my collectibles tab here, you'll notice that I now have three dragons. While the application was downloaded, I decided to redeem two more dragons. What we're going to do now, though, first is I'm going to show you how to get some information about these dragons. You'll notice here that just like on the redemption that we did on the website, there's the number tag in the name of the dragon here, which is very important to help us troubleshoot any issues. You also see the rarity when the collectible was created and other information. Now, to redeem a fourth dragon, we're going to head on over to redeem code at the bottom of the list here. You'll notice that this experience is slightly different from the website, and that's perfectly fine. The first thing you'll notice is this address here. This is the address that was created for you if you redeemed a code for the first time when you created your account. We're going to ignore that for now and head right on over to the, the product code redemption. Now, this form is exactly the same one as on the website. So we have to make sure that we do have a valid code, just like we did with the website. And we're going to enter it in the field here and click Submit. Like the website, it can take a little bit. So as you saw here, we had a green banner appear at the top to tell us that the redemption worked and it's now processing. And just like the website, we have a confirmation window here as well telling us the name of the dragon and the, and the number. Now, if I go ahead and close this, you'll notice that the collectible doesn't appear here right away. That's perfectly normal. We do process all the redemptions on the blockchain, and that can take a few minutes to actually process into your account. And if ever you're in doubt, you have a refresh button at the top left here. You can always click that. And as you can see, it has not processed yet. When it does process, we'll get a blue banner instead telling us that the dragon was successfully delivered into our account. While it does that, let's head on over to a showroom. So what I'm gonna pick is a nighttime garage scene. These are very cool. They're very spacious, allow you to create very exciting, exciting themes. You'll also notice when you first enter the view room that you have different view rooms you can always choose to hop on over if you change your mind. We have many different styles and sections of the view room either in daytime or nighttime. And we also still have a Christmas theme room, an alleyway actually, which you can also use. For now, we're gonna to stick to this garage scene. When you click continue, you'll notice a couple of things. <clears throat> One, you'll be landing in what's called builder mode. And you'll see that in builder mode, you kind of float around instead of walk around. That's perfectly normal, that's part of the experience. Now to move around like I just did, it's very simple. You essentially need a keyboard and a mouse and you need to use the WASD keys on your keyboard to direct the movement that you want to go in. W is to move forward, S is to move backwards, A is to move left, D is to move right. It takes a little bit of a, a few tries, but once you get the hang of it, it comes pretty naturally. Now to look around, you'll notice in builder mode, nothing happens if I move my cursor or my mouse. To move around 
where you're looking at, you have to hold the right button on the mouse and move your mouse around and you will be free looking around where you move like this. And by combining the keys on the keyboard and the mouse, you can make some very cool movements, which is also part of the whole showroom experience that we provide with this application. Now, now that we've gotten around how to move, I'll give, I'd like to bring your attention to the top left of the menu up here. You'll see that we're in edit slash builder mode here with this box button. Now, if we ever wanted to go into character mode, so like a visitor would, ah, and there we go, there's our collectible. You just saw that blue banner at the top. Um, as character mode, you're essentially walking like a normal person would, like this. Same thing, WASD to move around and the mouse to look around. This time you'll notice, however, you don't need to hold any buttons to look around. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna head on over to the garage because it's a lot more spacious than the living room. And what I'm about to show you is how to place your collectibles and arrange them into a cool little scene. So now to go back out of character mode like this, I need to hit the escape key on my keyboard. And you'll notice right away that the cursors reappeared and that I need to hold the button again to move around. And again, the button will only let the, the, the button in your mouse will only let you look around if you go back to edit mode. You'll also notice that we're now back in the living room. You, when you go back into edit mode, you go back to the position that you were last in before you left edit mode. Now that we're in the viewer room, we're going to float around and find a nice well-lit spot for our dragons. Some characters that we provide have glow in the dark effects or light effects. Unfortunately, this dark dragon does not, but you'll see he's pretty cool when fully posed. So in this edit mode, you'll notice you have two tabs. The first one are your actual collectibles. So I have four now. So I have two blue dragons, one brown dragon and a green dragon. The second menu that you'll notice is an accessory tab. This accessory tab is full of accessories that are both themed for the holiday season that just ended, but also contain a bunch of diorama, cases, shelves, tables that you can use to place your perfect showroom. We're not gonna dive into all these individual accessories there for you to discover, but we're gonna go back into the collectibles. So how do I place a dragon? To place a dragon, you simply click on the character you want to place, like so. And what will happen is he will be placed in the middle of the screen here. So do bear in mind, if you don't want your character to appear all the way at the back of the room, make sure you're looking towards where you want him to be placed originally, like so. The first thing you'll notice is the character is pretty small. That's normal. They always appear small when first placed. The good news is you can move them around and resize them. All our characters are fully resizable to a natural size. So in the case of this dragon, he's not a very big dragon, but he can be rescaled up to about five feet. So that's what we'll do now. To do that, you'll notice in the edit mode, you have three more buttons. The first button is to move around the figure like this. So as you can see, I'm moving the figure up and down through the floor. I can choose to move them along a specific direction with these arrows up, down, left, right. But I can also, with the second button in the edit tab, rotate him. So depending on which direction you want him to rotate, side to side, left to right, up or down, I could even have him flip around upside down like this, which is kind of cool you'll notice that you can get very creative and the possibilities are very endless with this style of arrangement. Finally, and this is the part that I personally like most, is the rescaling. You'll see now that, as we mentioned, the dragon here is very small. And again, that's normal at first. If ever we wanted to rescale him, you have the ability to rescale by pulling on one of these colored bars like this. So now we fully rescaled this dragon. He's about four to five foot tall. And uh, look, he's looking pretty good. You, got, you, know, you can now zoom in and see all the details of the character, all the scales of the wings, 
the veins on the wings, the claws themselves. And finally, if you're not happy with the actual placement of this dragon, you'll notice that there's this square that's appeared now around. Now this square is visible when you hold the right button on the mouse. And this essentially acts as another cursor on your screen to just quick place the dragon around like this. Now, this seems kind of trivial, but when you've got a lot of characters uh, around in your showroom, it might get a little uh, useful to have one of these tools lying around. So now that I've got this one dragon, I have three more I can place. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a little arrangement with all of my four dragons here, since they're a nice little grouping. I'm going to drop them into a diamond shaped formation like so. You can also click on the figure themselves itself, sorry, to select them and obviously to resize them full sized like this. Boom. Nope. You can go a little further actually like that. Now that I've got all four, I'm going to create a really cool little scene where all the dragons are looking at each other. So if I go start with this one, like this, then on to this one, like that. And finally, like this, like that. And grab our green dragon, maybe turn him a little bit by going back to the rotating tool. So, boom, there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the player mode again. And you'll see I reappear at the last position where I was in player mode in. And here we have it. We've got my four dragons all in a very angry growling conversation, I'm sure, and properly lit under my lamps. And there you are. And that's how you redeem and place a figure in the McFarland Toys Digital Viewer app.